want to read first of all from Isaiah chapter 32 verse 17. I read from the NIV. He said the fruit of that righteousness will be peace. It in fact will be quietness and confidence forever. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. It in fact will be quietness and confidence forever. Hallelujah. Amen. The peace that Jesus gives is supposed to be forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not supposed to be today and tomorrow is gone. It's supposed to stay with you permanently. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said in John chapter 14, Verse 27 to 30. He said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you the peace the world gives. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not be troubled in hearts. Don't be afraid. The peace Jesus gives you. It's not like the world gives. Because when the world gives you peace, it's no peace. Hallelujah. The peace Jesus gives, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, he said that peace surpasses all understanding. It means that it is a peace that even the mind cannot comprehend or imagine is beyond words. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The peace that we have is beyond our imagination. Amen. I don't know what you're going through. I speak that peace into your life right now. Amen. That peace of God. That peace. That is beyond imagination. It is what we call in Hebrew the shalom. Shalom. Freedom from trouble and much more. This peace means experiencing the highest good, enjoying the very best, possessing all the inner good possible. It also means wholeness and soundness. Hallelujah. It is a tranquility of mind, a composer, a peace that is calm in the face of bad circumstances and situations. This peace is also about an intimacy with God. The peace which is the highest good any man can have. Hallelujah. This peace it surpasses troubles and situations. Today our reading in our Sunday school class we read from Mark. The Bible says that and the disciples were found in the midst of the lake. And the waves were against them. And what even threatened their, their life, their peace, was the fact that they saw something that looked to them like a ghost. But as they were going through that situation, the Bible says the peace, the prince of peace, Jesus showed up. He says, I don't be afraid. Hallelujah. This peace will keep you even through hard times. What are you going through? What is 
the situation. The peace which surpasses all understanding. The peace that is able to overcome challenges is what I'm talking to you about. It is what Jesus gives. And that is what you have. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's read another story. In John chapter 6. He said, when the evening came, his disciples went down to the lake. When they got into the boat and set up across the lake of Capernaum, by now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed about three and four miles, they saw Jesus approaching to the boat, walking on the water. They were frightened, and he said, it is I. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. When you have the Prince of Peace, he defiles stormy situation, stormy circumstances. When everybody is crying, the same thing that makes people cry, you will not cry because the Prince of Peace is on your side. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know what you're going through again, but I want to assure you that the one who is on your side is greater than the situation you are going through. Amen. In Proverbs, Isaiah chapter 32, actually. Isaiah 32, verse 19. It says, Though hail flattens the forest, and the city is leveled completely, <laughs> you see, my people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. When the Prince of Peace is on your side, when even the forest is flattened, and the Bible says that the city is completely level, you, the Bible says, you will dwell in peaceful places. There's a song that says, Oh, do we already? Waku, we are more. What did he know? That's a wood or wood, young go. Wood or wood, yes, a wood. As I see any that he puts you. Be part of two. Bobo, 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 It's not 
better you will not go through issues. It's not like you will not have circumstances that are contrary to what you expect. But when you have it, you will go through it because this Prince of Peace is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said he will not leave you nor forsake you. There's a scripture that says, even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you will not fear anymore. Yeah. That is the presence of the Prince of Peace. When everything is against you, when the economy is so hard, the people are just complaining. The Prince of Peace will come through for you. Hallelujah. I just want you to know that we serve a God who is master over situations. He is the king over circumstances. You know, when, when, the, the, when the disciples found themselves on the sea, they thought it was over. Oh, yes. Have you come to that point where you think, oh, God, everything is lost, everything is done. Lord, my, my issue is beyond, it's beyond me. I'm blown away. God needs that situation to glorify himself. He promises you the peace that surpasses all understanding. He will keep you in perfect peace. Those whose heart and mind is on him. Oh yes, I'm talking about the peace you have. The Prince of Peace who is in your heart. He is an expert of dangerous circumstances and situations. Oh yes, I came to assure you that irrespective of what you are going through, God is on your side. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is on your side. Amen. God is on your side. He will not leave you. Hold on to him. Oh yes, hold on to him. I don't know again what is making you fear. Oh yes. What is it that is making you afraid? Say, I saw the Lord. He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. The Lord will deliver you. I'm talking about the Prince of Peace. He will bring you out of the thing that is making you to fear. Jesus said, It's I. Don't be afraid. That is what he told the disciples. At that time, on that sea, in the middle of the lake, the Bible says, it was also dark. Look at the situation. It was dark. They were in the middle of the lake and it was a raging storm. Three in one problem. And when they thought that their master had left them, Jesus came. Jesus will come your way. When he became so glad that things are over, he will come through. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't give up. Hold on to the Prince of Peace. He will glorify himself. Let's be on our feet. Hallelujah. I know that I still have Jesus. I know that I still have Jesus. If I lose all that I feel possessed, I know.
settles cause on our behalf. Oh, remove heads and pain. Oh. Holy Spirit, have your way in our base in the name of Jesus. Oh, Basile Kitayada. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of God. Let the hand of God come upon you. Let the hand of God come to your situation. Experience the touch of God. Oh, let the hand of God touch you. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says of the Israelites in Egypt. When Pharaoh wanted to keep them. And he would not listen to the instructions of God. The Bible says that God showed Pharaoh his figure. May the figure of God may the figure of God be shown the enemy on your behalf right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes.
For you are our hope. You are our hope. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let's be seated in this presence.